Hey guys, um, I wanted to show a new Filofax that I got and do a review. I haven't found um, too many videos on this, and I even checked the um, Philo wiki that I believe Filofaxy um, helps kind of put together, and I couldn't find this model on that list. So um, let me actually get the box that it came in. So this I found on Mercari and it's, I'm going to call it vintage, <laughs> um, 1999 um, Filofax Chelsea Slimline and the seller actually included like all of the original inserts which I think um, is kind of neat to see. The paper on these is like really rough um, and actually just kind of sucks. So. I'm glad they've improved their paper since this was uh, made. So it is, I was looking for something compact um, for work. I use my rings mostly for work, although I have been in um, this, um, Filofax Epping, which also is vintage in, in my <laughs> terms. Um, and I love the color, but the rings were kind of in my way when writing and I wasn't really wanting to take things out all the time. Um, but I did like the ability of, or the capability, I guess, of kind of organizing things, you know, what the benefits of rings are, moving stuff around, um, keeping like things together and so um, I found I was looking at I know there are some compact versions of like the Holborn um, and I know right now like you can buy a compact zip which I wasn't really interested in um, I don't really like the zip zipper um, organizers so anyway this is a Filofax slimline Chelsea and um, the rings I believe are 11 millimeter I did try and measure them and they are so tiny so I'm just gonna bring back um, this epping and I think these are 25 yeah these are 25 millimeter rings so just to compare um, how tiny these are to those and this might be like comically small to most people but I kind of thought like okay like what are the essentials that I need um and it's really simple there's no closure or anything um it's smooth and it's kind of squishy which I like um I do like this pocket organization so it's got a lot of you know decent pocket situation um and then just for like a, cut, a size comparison it's a smidge taller than my Epping, um, but shorter width-wise, um, which I also like. And then obviously here's the um, spine comparison. And I wanted to show with my Hobonichi Weeks um, also as like a comparison to the size. It's almost like I could fit this in here. I mean, not really, but it's very similar in um, profile and then like the spine. So I feel like this is really thin. Um, and so I had set up things for work, but I thought, you know what? Let me try and see if I can squeeze in some personal things too. I've been watching a lot of um, scientists I have a business card I want to take out so that you don't know where I work. <laughs> um, Scientist Plans videos, and she had a plotter, which I think is kind of the same idea. The leather, I think, is a bit more like a traveler's notebook. Um, I would say, like, a bit more luxury. Uh, and they're really pricey. I think it's, like, 200 maybe for the personal size. Um, and so I thought this would be, like, a good sort of test for that. 
but the thing about the plotter too is they don't have um, pockets so it is really reminds me of just like a Midori or a Traveler's Company notebook but with I think they have the same like 11 millimeter rings so I do have all of my inserts that were just in here and I'm gonna try and put them back in to show you how much I can fit um, I did add the dividers but I think I'm going to take them out they are I mean, in the scheme of things, they're not too thick, but they are a bit thick for cardstock. And I noticed just like the tiniest gap, not so much like when I close it with nothing in it, it's fine, but like the more inserts I put in, it's like it's pulling them open. So I'm gonna try and um, just put back the necessities. So um, I do have this dashboard, which no, it's not necessary, but I like something pretty um, to look at. And so I just have a couple things in there. Um, and then I have a sticky note dashboard. So instead of putting stickies on the sides, I just kind of have a few on here. And then my file effects calendar, a to-do list, it's sort of like my inbox, planner spending and order tracker. That's kind of all I keep in my inbox section. So I'm gonna take this oops divider out and then we're going to start my monthly section so i have a tracker here and then for months i took out january through may and i just have june through december um i think if i keep with this next year i know plotter makes a monthly spread on like a really thin paper that i might try or i might just get the file effects ones because i know their paper is thinner so here are my week on two pages Again, I took out the first half of the year, and for these, I think I only have two months, so June and um, July, and here's, here's last week. So, I'm putting these back. And for the most part, I have not slit anything, just because when you close them, like it's so tiny that the rings don't get in the way of writing, which I like. Um, these are just some notes pages that I might use for dailies when needed. Um, I started like a little something today. I'm gonna take these out. I'm trying to just keep what's needed. And then I'm gonna put a tab here. So I know instead of using a divider um, and then I have my personal section which is just a reading log and some book quotes and then some notes therapy notes and I'm using let's see, um, peanuts planner co insert um, for it and then I also just have like a line paper that I use to write things some thoughts down throughout the month that I want to talk to my therapist about those in there and then I have my work section which I did sort of slim down um, so I have a to-do list which is kind of like my work inbox and then just notes um, I did have a calendar but I do use um, Outlook for meetings and things so I'm trying to rely on that more heavily I was using my work calendar mostly for like events or due dates and um, I'm trying to just add that to, to my outlook for work. And so, let's see, as you can see, the rings are still closed. Um, and then this is what it looks like. So it's super thin. I don't carry my planner with me when I'm out and about just like every day, but for work I have to carry my like, big laptop and you know snacks and a water and lunch and so this is a lot um, lighter to just throw in my work bag than um, my epping was and I like that I have personal in here too because I find I, I sort of like having everything together I mean I like the idea of having a separate work planner so that I don't have to think about work because I was adding um, let's go to July like a work meeting in here 
and then kind of like, well, I don't have to think about work when I'm looking at my calendar for like personal stuff, but then it's nice to know like, okay, I'm going to be off site that day. Um, so, or like not working from home that day, I guess in the office. Um, and so then I know when I go to plan personal things, like where I'll be. So that might be okay to just kind of add little things here. Um, yeah, so this is this is the planner. I do have um, some minimal file effects week on two page inserts coming that I bought for like five bucks off Mercari. I have a credit, so <laughs> I used it for that. And I like those. Um, I mean, like, these have been working well. I've been using these for most of the year. The notes section is at the bottom here and it's just a smidge smaller so that you get a little bit more room for your weekdays. And so I'm trying really hard to like just fit everything that I need on these two pages. Um, instead of also using a daily and so like here is last week and I'm trying this week to just like kind of squish my writing down a little bit more um, trying to just kind of take a really functional minimal approach going forward and not have all of the things um, put my stickies back so yeah um, if anybody has any questions on this or wants like more specific um, I guess measurements or anything, just let me know. I did have this in the back, but I took it out. Um, I do use these from time to time. There's only, I think like two or three left. Um, I mean, they're the most that's taken up. These I don't really use. And I had it in the back just as like a page lifter of sorts. Um, those rings are like slightly open right there. So I could probably take a couple more things out, which is kind of annoying. Let me take some notes paper out for work because I don't take that many notes. Um, and then when I do, I just kind of like sort through, make sure that I have the info that I need written down and then I, um, I toss them. To be frank. Anyway, so I took this out. I had thought about getting Plotter makes something like this. I mean, without the stickies, and then they have a little band, so that when I close it, I could band it, sort of like a traveler's notebook or like a moleskin. But it's not really necessary. Um, so I think I'll hold off. I'd also thought about putting a hole in and then having like an elastic go around like a traveler's notebook. But I mean, it's so then that it stays close so i don't really need anything to hold it together um one thing i am going to get though is i had and i can't find it i looked through all my things which makes me think i may have donated it with just one of those like clip-on um pen holders that slide on and off like not the sticky ones so i might get another one of those um to slip my pen into so but yeah um this is what's going on i'm pretty sh I don't know I can't say what I'm gonna use anymore but this is <laughs> like I like this it's cute I can hold it it's not as bulky as this um and so it's sort of making me think rings might be doable again if I just kind of keep only what I need in here um and as far as work going forward I might just um, move my notes into a separate notebook and just leave a few pages in the front for a to-do list like I have here. Um, because I did have month-on-one page calendars in here, but I would forget to check them. Um, and then as far as work to-dos, I used my Outlook sort of to keep track of tasks, so I wasn't relying so much on writing things down. I mostly just use, um, this inbox when things come up in meetings and I'm like, oh yeah, we need to do that, but it's not like today right now. I'll write it down so that I don't forget on this list. Um, so yeah, I might just morph this into a personal planner and take out the little baby work section that I have in the back and then that might free up a little bit more space in my rings. Um, but yeah, I, I like this and I was watching um, Pacific Planner 74. She has a compact Jillio, I believe, and the rings are a little bit bigger. I think her rings are 15 um, millimeters, but 
I know she's been using that for a couple of years. And so I thought, you know what, maybe I can give this, um, this a solid try for the rest of the year. I mean, we'll see. I, I've also been back in here, but like I've been messing with the back pages and then I just get like, trying to do my tracker, um, just some notes. And then I kind of wish I had thought out what I wanted in my notes and I sort of did and like I started I was gonna start a health log and then I didn't use it I ended up using the yearly at the front um so I'm thinking for now I might I mean I still love I love the paper and I hate the paper <laughs> um so I might we'll see this might also be good for journaling. I don't know. Um, I mean, I do like it. I'll probably get one for 2024. Like this, I had to tip in um, an order tracker because whatever I had written underneath these pages, um, I didn't need anymore. And so then it was just like two wasted notes pages. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, this is what I'm using at least <laughs> what I plan to use this week. And I wanted to show um, just how, how s slim and um, cute this was. But thanks for watching. Um, I hope that was helpful or interesting. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, I am on Instagram at Natalie Wright's Plans, so you can follow me there as well. Thanks, bye.